short video this week and I'm going to show you how to make a super floppy HT antenna that is just a little piece of ribbon and quite strong. Let's see what we got. Oh, wait, there's the antenna. This is... Let's cover one thing right at the very beginning. A lot of people are going to take issue with me creating an antenna that is as close to your body. But let's also keep into account that if you have an HT with a whip, it is probably sitting just a few inches from your head. This antenna is going to be sitting down away from your body and away from your head. In a lot of ways, this is a lot safer than what you would originally see. What we have here is gross grain ribbon with some Faraday tape just taped to the inside. I'm sure you could just use Faraday cloth. Then we fold it over and sew it. And part of the reason why is that you get some isolation from your environment and it's a lot harder to short this out onto something. I know a few of you are going to ask, why are you not using copper or aluminum foil tape? Here's the thing. Faraday fabric is infinitely tougher than the foil tapes. If you take the foil tape and what you see here is actually fairly thick stuff and you move it around a little bit, it starts falling apart and breaking. If you do the same thing with the Faraday fabric, it just takes it and it still works. So that is why we are using it. There are a few things that you're going to need for this. One is a ferrule crimper and some ferrules. The blue color is what I ended up using. And yes, of course, you could find some really thin aluminum tubing or brass tubing at your hobby store and use that instead. But this is what I had available. The other thing you're going to need is heat shrink. And I like using the three to one stuff. And part of the reason why I like using the three to one stuff is that there's glue in it. And that glue, once it's down, bonds to whatever you have. And you'll notice here, that it bonds onto the fabric and it makes it very tough. What I've done is I've taken a piece of wire, made sure that the shellac is scraped off of it and I'll put it to the inside of the BNC pin. From there, we just make sure that we have the right ferrule size to fit over the top of it. Now we've taken a chunk of the pre-sewn material for the antenna and what I have is about 20 inches. You can cut it down to 19, 18, 17. I honestly haven't tuned any of these. This is just a rough, let's see if we can make something really quick. I haven't checked it on a VNA, so take this for what it is, but the fact is, is that it works and it works pretty good. We need to taper down the ends of the ribbon that we've sewn up so that we can fit it into the ferrule and make sure that the conductive part of the Faraday tape is in contact with the wire. We throw the crimp over top of this and we give her a little snappy do. Once this is done, you start feeding on pieces of heat shrink so that you capture everything and make sure that it is being bonded well to both the ferrule and the connector and also onto the fabric. The second piece of heat shrink is added and that helps with the gription of the BNC to the other piece of heat shrink which is bonded to the ribbon. And this makes for a very strong connection. And yes, gription is a technical term. There's no reason why you can't actually just do it to the end of a coaxial cable, which I've done here. The reason why I generally don't is, is that if this coaxial cable gets damaged, the whole antenna gets thrown out, the cable, everything. And these can be flaky as all hell. This here is a pretty solid piece. Yes, you can hook it directly to the coaxial cable. I recommend you do not and hook it right to a B and C connector. Let's see what we got. Oh wait, there's the antenna. This is Victor Echo 6, Sierra Foxtrot X-Ray, doing a quick radio check. Can anybody copy? This is Victor Echo 6, Tango November Oscar. Got you about a, I'm going to say a 5-3, uh, about a 5-3. You got some bacon grease in the background there, Ben. There you go. Super floppy. More metal in here, obviously. It's going to affect things, but it's an antenna that works, and it is about as low profile as you can possibly get. 